my, my. What do we have here? Now, what is an adventurer like you doing in a lonely tavern such as this? <laughs> Vermeer. Vermeer Ganon Forneus the Ninth. Or simply Vermeer to my friends. And what do they call you, dear adventurer? <laughs> well, since it appears your flagon is empty, would you allow me to buy you another? <laughs> ah, thank you. So tell me, are you any good with that sword of yours? Or do you just get by with that smile? Oh, but you must forgive my impertinence. It has been some time since I've had the pleasure of another's company. I used to travel with others, friends of mine, even if they trusted me as far as they could throw me. But I came through in the end, before we parted ways. I always come through for my friends. I can promise you that. <laughs> oh, my appearance. No, no. Worry not. I may appear slightly sickly, but appearances are deceiving. My pale tone and frail stature is uh, an inherited trait, as opposed to a trait brought about by illness. In fact, I am very particular in regards to my appearance. After all, to deceive your enemies, you must first deceive your allies. <laughs> Hmm. Now that the small talk is out of the way, are you for hire, adventurer? I am in need of someone with a good sword arm and a, a stalwart temperament, and I believe you may just be in the position to provide both of those things. <laughs> And I am in the difficult position of needing those things. I have a difficult task ahead of me, and would appreciate the assistance of one such as yourself. In fact, I dare say that your assistance would do much to nourish my soul during these trying times. What can I say? Everyone has appetites they must fill. Mine is simply a... appetite for life. I'm on my way home, you see. It is a distance. But I'm also looking for a... friend along the way. Although I doubt he would call us friends. I was hoping I may run into him with a touch of luck. But it appears that the devils have chosen to run my luck dry at this time. <laughs> you see, this friend, he possesses something I need, or should say would like, to have in my possession once again. A long time ago, I entrusted an item to his safekeeping. Unfortunately, we parted ways sooner than expected, and 
I would very much like that item back. It would be so much trouble to acquire another. Tisk tisk. This is the kind of work, my dear, that requires subtlety. Questions left unanswered. This item is one of those instances. But do not worry, for someone is capable and entrancing yourself. I am more than willing to pay for your assistance. Payment. Straight to business. I like that. But it does leave oh so little room for pleasure. After all, what is the point of all work and no play? I always make sure to set time aside for pleasurable pursuits. A good book, a glass of wine, and some enjoyable company. All noble aspirations. Who knows, perhaps I may provide you with a few pointers. There are many that have not lived to regret spending time with me. As for pay, I am more than willing to give you a fair sum. How does, um, two thousand gold pieces sound? Would that be enough to buy your loyalty? Oh, I saw your little ears prick up as soon as the coin was mentioned. <laughs> I am aware it is a large sum, however, I am good for it. I can even grant you further rewards should you stay with me until we are at my family's manor. Yes, in my experience it is best to provide incentive. No, not incentive. Reward a job well done. When we arrive at my family's home, you may take whatever you can carry. It's all meaningless to me. House Varenus may be fallen, but our coffers still run with a golden hue. It has been some time since I've been back. Since I have been home. Hmm. And I would say I'm well overdue for some housekeeping. Hmm. Tell me, do you have any siblings? Brothers? Sisters? <laughs> ah. Well, I have two. A brother, Alistair, and a sister, by the name of Abigail. Abigail was always very... draining for the servants to deal with. And as for my brother, well, he always had a nice way of stitching them back together after Abigail was done with them. Mother and father would have liked it if I'd stayed at home, been one of the good little children. That was never for me. I found it far too boring, being kept in all day, being told what I could and could not do, say, think. Enough to drive a man half mad. <laughs> I had... Uh, hunger for life. A world I had to see myself, to truly appreciate. A wish to devour every last morsel that I came across. 
Life is made for living. And I plan to live a very long life. <laughs> you seem concerned. Oh, do not let my turn of phrase worry you. After all, I am someone who you can trust. I've put my trust in you. Why not give a little? Hmm. Too many secrets, too vague, too mysterious. I thought you understood all of this. It's not going to be easy work, it never shall be. But the money's better than anything going these days. And by the time I'm done, I guarantee you this world will be a better place. That's all I've ever wanted. To make the world a better place. To leave it better than when I came in. <laughs> well then, now the answer is settled. Let us raise a glass to a toast. To the two of us. May this adventure send your pulse racing. <laughs> <laughs>